So we have our right blocker set up. We've got it connected to our power source. We have it connected to the media we're going to be imaging. We've got it turned on. And so uh, we're using Access Status FDK Imager 3.1.1.8. I would include that in my uh, lab notes. So we want to add evidence drive from file. Let me go back and do that file, add evidence item. We have a physical drive, although we won't be working with the entire physical drive because it's 80 gigabytes. And we look down here and we see we have four physical drives attached. We have this SSD where my operating system is running. We have a mechanical hard drive that's one terabyte where I hold my data. We have a couple of USB thumb drives here, which we'll be using one of these as the receptacle. And we have physical drive four, which is our Seagate Barracuda drive, 80 gigabytes. So we click finish. Whoops, we need to select that. There we go, make sure that it's selected. We click finish. And it shows up in the evidence tree over here. We can expand the evidence tree. Notice that there's a single two gigabyte partition on here just so that we can do uh, some quick work with it rather, you know, doing a quick hash and a quick image as opposed to the entire 80 gigabyte hard drive. We can click on that and expand it. And it shows you the contents here, the volume name, the type of uh, file system that is used. And let's collapse this and let's go back up. If we right click on this, notice that it has various uh, selections. We can remove the evidence. We don't want to do that. We can verify the driver image. We don't want to do that because it's 80 gigabytes. We can also export the disk image. That is, we can create an image of the 80 gigabyte drive. So we don't want to do that. We're just going to get a partition. So we go down and we expand the tree here under physical drive 4. We, collect part we click partition. Then we can go up and go to file, verify drive image. And it automatically starts the imaging process. <clears throat> Notice it's only getting the two gigabyte right here because that's what we've selected up in the evidence tree. And it simultaneously calculates both the MD5 and the SHA-1 hash. And it's done. So notice it tells us the size of the partition. And it's the first partition. The sector count, it has two hashes, the MD5 and the SHA-1, the number of bad sectors, which is zero. Now, I wouldn't want to copy this by hand. So what I do is you left click on here. You hit control C, and then you can copy this into your notes. And what I've done over here is I have the original here, and we see that it got the correct MD5 hash. Let's go down here and select this, control C, SHA-1, was that correct, control V, and it correctly hashed the partition. So we can close this out. Now what I would like to do is to make a image of this partition. After we make the image of the partition, we can hash it again to make sure that our image is verified. Now I've got a USB thumb drive that I think is four gigabytes. I believe that's uh, inserted in the USB port. And the first thing I want to do, though, is I want to write zeros over the. Um, I want to wipe or sanitize the receptacle drive to make sure that there's nothing else on it. And so then, after I do that, I write uh, write out the zeros or whatever um, wiping mechanism you're using. Uh, a single pass of zeros is good. Then we need to format the drive. And so let me see if I can find um, 
So I have two programs that we can use. We're only going to use one. This is an, an installation program. It's called Eraser, and that's free. There's also one called Disk White, which is very good. And each of these allows you to write different types of passes across uh, your drive to sanitize it. And the quickest way to do it, we want Disk White. And I've already done this to the drive, so I'm not going to do it. But here's the blank drive that I used. here and it took a few minutes to do that so I'm not going to go back and redo that but it, you, you can say once you click on white disk it's going to ask you the type of file system because it's it's going to wipe it and then it's going to format it so I chose FAT32 and then the erasing pattern what do you want um, anything from of one pass of zeros, which is something that we did in Linux, uh, all the way to another quick wipe of one pass of random, all the way down to a Gutman wipe, which is 35 passes. Very slow. So I've already done that, but once you click next, it goes ahead and starts wiping your receptacle drive. And then it formats it, and in this case, it formatted it FAT32. Okay. Now we can go back to Imager and export disk image and verify images after they're created. Notice down here that's selected and we can click Add. Uh, we'll have a DD. Notice that there's other types of images. This is a raw image, a DD. Uh, e E01 is used for um, in case images. And then we can do case number, which I would go ahead and do. So case number 001, evidence number 001, unique description, Seagate, Barracuda, and I would list the serial number here, Kreger, and notes. So exam. Click next. The destination folder is going to be under computer. It was called blank. I selected that. Image file name exam.dd. Now here's something that you probably want to change. The image fragment size. If you leave it at 1500, it's it's megabytes. It's going to start breaking up the image into smaller chunks and you really don't want that but notice down here you can set for raw or the in case or the AF format to zero so you don't fragment because we're only talking about a two gigabyte drive partition rather you can use encryption if you want finish and then start And it's just about finished, so about four minutes. And then it's computing the MD5 and the SHA-1 hashes. And beautiful, it gave us all the information we need, in, including the computed hash, the reported hash, and the fact that they matched. If we look back over here at the original, that worked. It's the same hashes. So that was a run through of how to use uh, FTK Imager to calculate the original hashes on a file, how to create an image, how to wipe your receptacle drive, which is very easy. I use disk wipe and to create the image and notice that it automatically calculated the original and the final reported hash of the image.